king. Crazy, crazy for feeling so lonely. I'm crazy. <laughs> Crazy for uh, And all the about y'all. You know what? I'm going to try to allow myself to um, entertain y'all for about a minute and a half. Okay? Because I don't need to get another video <laughs> demonetized. Because look. I'm tired of doing these videos. I mean, I don't mind doing them. And, you know, it, the message is getting out. My thoughts, people that share the thought, passing the energy, I, I don't have a problem with that. But when it gets to the point where you have an option of being monetized and not, and I'm never monetized, then I'm just like, wow, really? Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is really crazy. But, however... I want to follow the rules that YouTube has laid out, and um, hopefully this video will be monetized, okay? Because I really want to talk about uh, this guy. And some people say, why do you go so hard on him? Well, because he reminds me of my youngest uh, brother, foster brother, actually. Uh, my adopted brother. Um, he's about 40 maybe now. 41. And he has like. Allegedly 17 children. Okay. His children. His children are like tumbleweeds. Um, basically. And so when I see people. Like. Is my time in? Am I good? Hell yeah. When, my, when I see people like Dirty Dick Nick and black and us, you know, and I know that women love, you know, financial security. That's really who we are. Okay. So I can't really, you know, say anything too bad, except it's, it's a shame that you would sell your body and yourself for a mess of pottage because all good things must come to an end. And that's what folks say. I don't give a damn what kind of documents you write up. This is America. You know, don't be no fool. If the money get low, I'm going to tell you, these people will find a way to take all their shit back. And all them kids will be on welfare. Ask Michael Jackson. Oh, those, those kids that they wanted to spare haven't reached a point yet where we'll figure out uh, just how much money they really got, okay? But that's neither here nor there because we're not talking about them right now. Right now, we're talking about Dirty Dick Nick and this article that I read that is really disgusting to me. And I talk about him just like I talk about my little brother. It's like, y'all... Y'all, my brother says he wants all his kids to live together. This was his uh, fantasy. All his women under one roof getting along with each other. First of all, what y'all putting out in America, and, and Nick, you didn't already peep yourself. You wore a turban at first because you were so conscious. Look how easy you was derailed. You was derailed so fast. As soon as those, them people... Didn't like what you did. Look at you now. You don't wear no turban no more. You know, you don't talk that talk no more. What happened to Cannon's class? I already know. Instead of you building that up, you drop that. Because them people said that was part of the deal, wasn't it? Allegedly. So people like you are just a damn hypocrite. Gaslighting the black public that think that you smart, you woke, all these things. I'm not saying you no dumb dude, but in a sense you are retarded. Just like my brother. Retarded. For you to sit there and make a 
a blatant wise statement. Yes, I'm saying this. That all your children are going to get along. Because I'm not down for y'all. I'm down for the kids. See, that's what I'm speaking in behalf of right now. I'm speaking in behalf of your children. Who you think all your kids will be friends. Like you got some damn magic crystal ball. And that's that's a lie. That you can't say all oh, my nothing. Like I said, my brother has allegedly 16, 17, and they are not all friends. As a matter of fact, some of them hate each other because they feel that he should have been with their mom. In fact, I think even, listen, I even think Boosie will tell you he was shocked when I think it was Michael Jordan that said to him, uh, his son, Michael Jordan, uh, why you ain't with my mom? It came out of nowhere, and everybody know what Boosie do for his kids. Everybody know Lil Boosie put it down for his children. If you don't know nothing else about him, you know he does that. You uh, Off the record, P.S., you scared me the other day, bro, because I really didn't want to see you get killed out on that road. And I know you was ready to die because of your frustration. But I just think about the times that you came to Milwaukee, and you perform for the young people. And um, what ain't what no spot too big or too small for you. And I really appreciate that. I appreciate that spirit. And so I know you got a lot of people here in Milwaukee. You adopted us here. Um, but my thing is, I could never tell him what to do with his children. He don't even got half as many uh, as, as y'all. But the fact of the matter is, it takes two people to make a child. And because y'all ain't even thinking about the science of this whole shit, you just thinking about your selfish behavior. You're not thinking if it takes you and this person to make this one child, then that means that child longs for both of y'all. That child needs both of y'all active, important, and present in their life, whether you like it or not. This ain't no I go piss on the fire hydrant and then go to the next one and see how many I can make. Or this proves my manhood because I got 21, I got 30. Shit, my uncle had 32. That don't make him more of a man than a person that got one that take care of it, that give that child emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, everything that that child needs. That's what it takes. The commitment to raise children. That's what we used to do. Before the slave master got a hold to us. And made us mate with everybody. Made us screw our own sons and, and fathers. To make a buck. And this is what I feel that these women are doing now. They're doing anything. Because Nick. They proceed to have a big bag. And he got it, he got it like that. Until they decide like they did at first, you ain't you ain't got it like that. And yet and still, these children have emotional needs that's that's impossible to meet. Anyway, Nick Cannon has insisted that his seven children and his eighth on the way will always be friends. And in each other's lives, even if their respective mothers don't always get along. Now, that is so insane. That this is Cannon. Now, this is Nick Cannon with the crystal ball. The 41 year old presenter has six children. Um, uh, his seven child, Zen, whom he had with Alyssa Scott, passed away just two months after he was born. Um, uh, 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 in January, Cannon announced he is expecting an eighth child, this time with model Bree TC, whoever, while it was revealed last month that his ex, Abby, is pregnant with his ninth baby after they previously welcomed twins together. Okay? Yet, despite... And wait, by the way, I meant to say this to you. Let me make sure I throw this in. For a person that aspires and talks about being so um, conscious minded and in love with black women, no disrespect to y'all. It is amazing to me 
that this man can gaslight you sisters. I mean, period. Because Jessica White, when he got her pregnant, that's the only one. He ain't nowhere near her because she got skin complexion like his mama's. The rest of these women have white mothers. And these are the ones he choose to take all the pictures with and do all the, This is such a sick dynamic to me. And in fact, it's sicker than my brother's dynamic because he got money to hide it. Despite the complex family uh, dynamic, Cannon ensured that he could make things work. He took to Instagram to shout out his kids and say he will always love them. Dude, okay. If you love them, you will be thinking about them and not your emotional and not your emotional ego. You will be thinking about how that feels. Because any kid that grew up with a father will tell you how long they how they long for their father. Not that they knew their father. A lot of them knew who their father was, but their father was all with all different women. You think these kids ain't gonna grow up and see you raggedy? You think they gonna you think that these kids and that they're not gonna have a resentment for one another? I'm seeing it in my own life. I'm seeing it in group homes. I work with too many kids. This is a disaster. And I always thought you had more sense than that. But the most insulting thing about it is all your children mother are uh, got a preferred look, and it don't look like you, and that's what really just is this out the off the chain, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, it's as far as I'm concerned, because that's why the hair wrap is off your head. You a hypocrite, and if there's one thing I can't stand, is a damn hypocrite. Really, you make a mistake and you do something because you're unaware. Of, I'm good with that. Okay, or you put your foot in your mouth and you realize I said you apologize. I, I'm I'm okay with that. But a flat out straight look at me in my lie, at my eyes and, and know you doing opposite of what you preach. Get the f never okay. Let me go here. He began his rap. Because he got a rap song, I I'm gonna imagine. Uh he shared Tuesday his a video of him rapping for his kids. He began his rap. I got to say something to all my kids. Your daddy going to love you, whatever it is. Listen, he's a, such he's a narcissist. Uh, Cannon then addresses the public perception of his relationship with his kids and their mothers. You Listen, every woman got a different pH balance. Y'all like this dirty dick? Y'all like this dirty dick, Nick? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to give it to you like you like it. When I talk, when we have these young people and we have these uh, group talks, this is how they talk, and I talk right back to them like it. And that's the honest to God's truth. He would continue public opinions and public affairs, but fuck what they talking about. Uh, he, all my children would always be friends. That's the first thing that let you know that he's mentally ill. Because ain't nothing no always, no all. Even if their mama's not in agreement. Do you realize how powerful the mama is? When you get in trouble, I don't give a damn if you're 80 years old. You go, oh, mama. You don't go, oh, daddy. I don't even give a damn if he raised you. And that's just how less of a uh, woke person that you really are. Cannon's the name. They can't achieve it. If Ken is the name, we're all intelligent. I mean, we're all uh, um, uh, Ken is a gang and we're in allegiance. Look, that's your family. I don't care about you and your uh, girlfriends. I just think about Jessica White and I also think about my brother's children and because my brother's children now, I think the oldest one is 20. Cause he started having them young. He didn't. He didn't do like Nick. He started having them at fifteen, or you know, they were young when he started having these kids. Um. He, you know, he he wants to paint a picture that he's in this situation is so beautiful, but Nick is not a very honest person. He's a hypocrite. He's another part 
of a machine selling you some more destruction in a different kind of package. And how dare you put a turban on and represent like the men that didn't, that, that actually the, the men that, that warred before you that knew the science behind it. Nick Cannon is um, he's just real foul. He's very foul. And my brother, I'm not, gonna, I'm not easy on him. It's very foul. Very foul. This is slave master, slave role. I don't care how y'all look at it. This is just what it is. This is a big ass plantation. I mean, and y'all gonna put him in front of black young men as a role model, as somebody that's woke? Oh my God. Nick and Mariah tied the knot in the Bahamas, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. According to people, Monroe was named after the late actress Marilyn Monroe. Okay, as for, um, they decided not to give her a middle name since Mariah does not. Okay. As for Moroccan, the idea for his name came on a Moroccan decor in her, in her apartment. All right. His middle name is Scott. And it's also Nick's middle name and his grandmother's maiden name. Back in December, in the wake of Zen's death, Nick spoke out about how hard it was for him to tell the twins, who are now 11 years old, about Zen's passing, but credited their support, especially Monroe, with helping him get through the tragedy. He says, Monroe is so pure and so honest and called the his 11-year-old twins, the best therapist. Having to explain to the 10-year-old then is pretty intense, he admitted. But their understanding and them being there for me probably helped me keep it together as well as to deal with it, specifically Ro and Ra. They were there the entire journey. My daughter, really, she's so in tune and in line and wise beyond her years. I got a lot of therapists, but she's probably my biggest therapist. She keeps me in check. She's so pure and honest. And to be 10, she asks some really powerful questions. And you just keep asking them. Okay? Keep answering them. Don't do like most fathers uh, when the kids ask you questions that you don't like, that challenge the kind of man that you are, and how raggedy you've been. Um, Y'all don't want to hear them kind of questions. Not at all. And I, I, you know, I'm, I, I'm making this a personal uh, plea because I know my brother is listening to this broadcast, and my hope and prayer is that because I can't just blame all them, is that they realize that they know different than a slave on the plantation, and it does, regardless of the money. Matter of fact, the buck that that impregnated the most was the one that the master gave the most trinkets to. Yeah. And he has stood him out. Just like I do my Connie Corso. This is disgusting. So I you know, I just I just wanna say that because I think as as black people it seems like we're getting lower and lower and lower. And we don't care about any ramifications about anything anymore. We really don't. We don't care about nothing. It's just like, hey, I got money. I can do this. I got this. And it's now it's at the point where, you know, like I said, we'll do anything for money. So with that being said, any anybody who's in Dirty Dick Nick's world, Whatever happened to y'all, it's going to be y'all fault. But my, my, my concern is still the children because they, they didn't ask to be here. And this is some megalomania, egotistical, narcissistic type of bullshit.
that Nick is involved with. And all the women, of course, they want some security. They want the bag. I can't blame them. They want to feel secure, but I can blame the means that they're going by doing it. Because like I said, they don't have to do it no more. They're not on the plantation. But it's just like an elephant. If you keep them chained to a tree, he can't never get it loose, never get it loose. Once you take the chain off of me, he ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. All right, y'all can tell me how y'all feel in the next video because I know a lot of y'all ain't going to like that. But I had to say it. Somebody got to say it. And I think I will. I'll see you in the next video.